Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And in case, in this case, it was a mess ass queen. Ooh! So I'm just got through listening to the interview that Mr. Russell Hollywood Simmons gave to um who is this? The ball alert or somebody? Ball alert. Okay. I'm gonna put the link up on um under. I'm pretty sure y'all already know what's going on. If you're not, let me go get you up to speed. I'm gonna square you away. Um well known, well he's not well known. Football player Kerry Rhodes um has had some pictures leak not too long ago with him and this guy named Russell Hollywood Simmons. Um and the, the pictures they look like they're a little 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 friendly. And Kerry Rhodes has came out and said that he's not gay. He, he's a, he's straight as an arm and all this kind of stuff and we've been hearing it. He been he been denying it. <clears throat> So now we get this interview with the guy, Hollywood, who says, you know, me and him did have a relationship and we were talking and we were going together. But I, I, I'm going to hop on a whole bunch of different points and I know I'm going to piss some people off, but I really don't care. Number one, what grown ass man still uses the term going together? We're going together. That's some that's some high school ass shit. I wish somebody would say, "Yeah, we going together." No, we are in a relationship or we in some kind of commitment. Okay, it's going together. That's so high school. And when people say certain things like that, it makes me believe that they're uncomfortable with their sexuality. They're uncomfortable with being gay. You can be flamboyant and snapping your fingers all you want, but if you can't even say the word gay or you're gay or you're in a relationship with a man, you know that's your boyfriend out loud, then you're not comfortable with yourself, okay? And a lot of people use that to, to make it believe that they're comfortable and they're not, okay? I'm becoming comfortable with myself. I was in the past, but I am. But we're not talking about me. That's a whole enough story. I kind of respect um, Mr. Hollywood, but then I don't like Miss Hollywood. I like how the fact that he wants to, you know, show us that just because somebody playing football and they masking and all that kind of stuff, does not mean that they're gay. And it's a lot of DL men running around here. But then I don't like Miss Hollywood because Miss Hollywood got in a relationship with Karen. You assume, Miss Hollywood, that the guy was straight because you said it. You said that you assumed he was straight. So you already knew what it was. Come on, bitch. Plus A plus B plus C. Come on, get it together. I'm going to need you to get your formulas because you had already knew that he plays football. He's verified on Twitter. He's a little bit known. Of course, your relationship is going to be a secret. Of course, you're not going to get all of that. You're going to get that in the hidden presence, but you're not going to be able to be called a boyfriend or my lover or my partner. You're not going to get all that kind of stuff because he's not out. You already knew that. You already knew that. So why are you surprised that he denied the allegation? We've already seen this time and time again, Miss Hollywood. That's what they do. Okay, and this goes. This, I'm gonna throw some shots out for all my brothers and my my gay brothers, uh, black, white, Hispanic, whatever. Stop thinking that you're going to be able to get a keep a relationship with a DL man. It's not going to happen. You're not going to get anything other than that. You're gonna always be a sideline. You're not gonna be out like that. Okay, so get that. Y'all be chasing these these trade boys and all that kind of stuff, and then you get pissed off six months down the line because you think you're gonna change. You think it's gonna get better. No, you can't change no damn body. They got to change for themselves. So, Miss Hollywood, you already knew what the T was when you started talking to this man. So I don't know why you pressed, and then you're saying that you were pressed. About the fact that he um, denied that's what he missed. You don't play Hollywood. His voice annoyed the shit out of me. Annoyed the fuck out of me. I cannot, I couldn't deal. Like, I just wanted to say, oh my God, he just reminded me of some bitter ass queen. It just sounded so bitter. Like, he just, I'm, yes, girl. Yes, he's gay and he like him. But I will get, th get this out the way. The funniest shit I've ever heard. He he loved me like a brother, but he fucked me like a wife. Ooh, that shit had me dying. Okay, I almost had to swerve on the road from this because that that was just like some yes. I wanted to do. I wanted to put yes in the in the, in the donuts in the in the parking lot from him saying that. But Carrie Rhodes just gone turn these lemons into motherfucking crystal light lemonade. Okay. 
Do it because we already know your tea, all this kind of stuff. Just go. On. I can. I mean, be comfortable with yourself. Come on, come out the closet if you are gay. Come on out, your bicycle. Come on out and just say, yes, I am. You know, I'm going to stand up. I'm not going to have. When you do that, you give him no voice. Okay? When you keep denying and saying that you're not, you give this queen something to talk. You give her something to talk about because he going to keep telling the truth. And all that we want to hear is the truth. Okay? So you come out and you sit up here and say, well, you know, we and him were involved. And I'm, I'm hurt that he would do me like that. And I was uncomfortable myself. I guarantee you, you will shut him up and everybody will look at him like, that's some bitter-ass person. You do not kiss and tell. I know I will. So, Carrie, come on out the closet. Just come on. I don't know why you have a problem with some everybody else accepting it, but you already are. Accept it. You know you're gay. You know you like men. But you already, I can tell that you you all brought no brain because common sense, if you would have lived a life like I would, you would have known if I'm this high-profile guy, I'm not going to talk to this queen. I'm going to tell you something. No, 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 no. That She ain't got shit to lose, okay? That's why she can go and run her mouth and talk all this stuff. She ain't got shit to lose. You, however, do have something to lose, okay? You have a lot to lose and just from just lying. Now, people going to talk about because you, in fact, it's not necessarily the person, it's not the thing that you're gay because we're going to talk about you being gay for a minute, but what we're going to talk about is the fact that you lied about it so long. Just come on out and accept the fact. But you should have known that this queen was going to do that. You should have known that she had an ulterior, uh, whatever the word is, ulterior motive. Like, she she, she wanted to do something. She, You can see it. And my thing is this. She, I, I, What pisses me off, another thing with gay men, they always say, I can't talk to somebody like this. I can't talk to them. I can't talk to another man that's doing something like that. Okay, if you can't talk to what makes you think that another man wants to talk to one? If I want somebody doing all this kind of stuff and snapping it and just being just so flamboyant, why the fuck would I just get a girl? Because that's what you are acting like. And I think that pisses off a lot of, irritate a lot of women because it's like, why do y'all want to be like us so much? And some of us are, you know, going a little too old, but a lot of us just out of control. And I know that's going to piss some of y'all off, but I really don't care. Because it ain't got shit to do with my damn rent. But Carol Rose come out the closet. Um, what else? A couple of points. He just seemed like he just wanted to just throw the information. He just wanted to throw the information out. Just kept throwing the shade. Kept throwing the shade. Kept throwing the shade. And Karen, I mean, uh, Miss Hollywood, you didn't love that man. Because if you love that man, you, when he did that, you would have talked to him. And you would have talked to him about it and, and left him out. You already knew what the T was. So why are you pissed off when he's sitting here denying it? Tell me something, and that's all. That's all you can hear was sex. That's all he did was sex. And y'all went out of town. Now, he didn't. He, you're not talking about how he, how he, how much he loved you and how much he cared about. All you talking about is y'all had sex. So you know, you you really were kind of used. If, if you want to be really honest, and this goes, I'm, I'm gonna throw some couple more shots out to everybody chasing these trade boys. And thinking that they're going to do that. Child, most of these trade boys y'all talking to, they're going to keep messing off with men until they get old. Okay? Until they get about 30 to 40 years old. They're going to marry them a wife. They don't care about no age and care how they look. And probably going to still cheat on them. So, I don't know why y'all be pressed when y'all be talking to these, these trade boys and these masculine DL men and all that kind of stuff. It's just something to, like, something to see. They, I, I don't understand how y'all think that shit going to last long. Like, How? And it's it's crazy, and Miss Hollywood, I seriously doubt that you know anybody else will ever talk to you. I don't know, like I can't see you having a better relationship in the future because the way you handled this situation, like it was real, real messy. I can't see it because even when I did a video exposing some church queens in Memphis, I was looked at as bitter, and you know. Um, not a, not not good to be in a relationship with like that made me less attractive and i think about that every once in a while and i just feel like you're gonna have that same problem it's gonna be bigger for you because more people have seen this and gonna hear about it so you know what did you really win you made him a fool out of him but you know he gonna probably go on he gonna get over it. like in your 15 minutes of fame you talking about you gonna soak it up I really don't see you on any reality show, and I'm not going to support your ass. I'm, I'm just not. Maybe you would have came at a different angle. I would have, but you just exposing him and all this kind of stuff. Uh, I, I'm not. I can't see you on any reality show, 
And I, this is my first time hearing about you. The only reason why you're relevant is because you're talking about this guy. And you're talking about, so don't play Hollywood. Bitch, who are you? Who is Hollywood? The Hollywood in Memphis, Tennessee? Okay? Because that's how relevant you are. I ain't nobody checking for you, boo. The only reason why we want to know is because we don't want to pick Carrie Wood, Carrie Rose. So if you ain't talking about Carrie Rose, we ain't checking for your ass. But that's all I got. I'm putting the link under so you all can check out the interview. The interview was like 23 minutes long. I encourage you to... Uh, Get ready to hear. It just sound like some tired ass Memphis queen. He just sounded so. He, oh my gosh, it was just, he was just, just a lot of popping and lips. It, oh my gosh, it was getting on my, my my nerves. But um, put a link below below. Watch it. Get your like. Get your kiki. And you know, tell what y'all think about it. And I'll talk y'all later. Deuces. Bye.